Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, this has been the week to see Jupiter and at least four of its moons. It's in opposition, which basically means the Earth is right between Jupiter and the Sun. Best night was earlier in the week, and we had clear skies then. And since, we've had some clouds around, but not tonight. Charlie Kiesel, a longtime spotter of ours up in Gibson County, got out his 50X lens to capture, there's Jupiter, and four of the moons uh, around it. And you don't need a telescope tonight. All you need is a pair of binoculars, and you can see this, and that's uh, unusual. Normally, you do need a telescope, and it's up in the southeastern sky uh, right now, something that's uh, kind of fascinating, something a little different than the average meteor shower that we sometimes talk about. And this afternoon, we were talking about how cool it was. High 70 to 75, that's typical for the fall festival, the first week of October, not the second week of June. But not many people were complaining unless you had a pool party uh, scheduled or you wanted to take a dip in the lake or the river. But don't worry, that kind of weather is coming back. Live first warning Doppler is all dry. Late tomorrow night, we'll begin to see a few showers and thunder showers moving into the area. Right now, our American RV tower camera in downtown Owensboro, looking out towards the Glover Carey Blue Bridge. Our IMART tower camera off of Fifth Third Bank in downtown Evansville. There's the top of the McCurdy. You got the Ohio River waterworks uh, over here on a clear, chilly night here for June. The temperature, of course, we're live on the air. And by the way, thanks for staying up with us. It is 1144 and 54 degrees. Dew points down to 49 with a light southwest wind at around five miles per hour. And temperatures are generally now in the mid to upper 50s. The record low for tomorrow morning is 49. We've got a shot at it. I'm going 50 at this point, but we're certainly going to be uh, in that ballpark as high pressure continues to build in from the west. That's going to dominate our weather through tomorrow. And then as the high pulls away tomorrow night, the door is going to open up for a warm front to move through on Saturday. And that'll be the start of a very unsettled uh, period here that's going to carry us through much of next week. So here's an updated future tracker since we last joined you on the seven side back at nine o'clock and you'll see clear skies for tonight mostly sunny tomorrow morning and then the clouds gradually move in from the west later tomorrow afternoon as it turns breezy and warmer highs will be in the upper 70s to around 80 humidity will be pleasant for one more day and then tomorrow night we get temperatures back to normal as the clouds continue to increase. No problems for your Friday evening plans overnight. A few scattered showers and thunder showers will be coming in along and north of the Ohio. This is 6 a.m., so they're pushing into the Evansville area uh, right after sunrise. And then during the morning, we see a few waves come on through. This is noon, and we've got a threat for an isolated severe storm. And indeed, these models are indicating a couple of waves of strong to severe storms here at the noon hour on Saturday. But again, mainly along and north of the Ohio River, there's a more organized line coming through mid-afternoon. So that could present a severe weather threat with it. Otherwise, uh, some sun, very windy, warm and humid, mid-80s for the high, maybe low to mid-80s on Saturday. Saturday evening, a bit of a lull. And then we see some scattered showers and thunderstorms come in from the north late Saturday night. They refire Sunday afternoon when they'll likely be a little more numerous. And again, there may be an isolated severe weather threat. Rainfall between now and Sunday evening could get pretty heavy along and north of the river, but this could be a weekend where it's not too bad at all in our southern counties, Madisonville, Beaver Dam, maybe not much rain there. Farther north you go, the better the chance of off and on showers and storms. You could get over two inches before the weekend is over with. So clear skies overnight near record low, upper 40s to lower 50s for tomorrow. Sunshine, some clouds later in the afternoon, a breezy warmer high in the upper 70s to around 80. Some sun on Saturday, but some scattered showers and storms. Very windy, borderline humid, 83 for the high. Mostly cloudy, scattered showers and storms on Sunday. A humid 84 and still kind of windy. We'll do it all over again Monday. And basically, this pattern lies in for much of next week. Daily chances for showers and thunderstorms. We got four consecutive weather aware days there. Not too warm, not too humid, and there will be some dry time as we uh, generally see uh, this type of pattern uh, in the summertime. Generally does not lead to any washouts, but two people earlier today died after being struck by lightning at a park in Pennsylvania. A coroner says one man and one woman died. Officials say the two were on an island at the lake when they were struck by lightning. The park is now closed. 
Investigation is underway, but that is the third lightning fatality in the U.S. in the past two weeks. I believe a roofer mm. was killed wow. in Texas two weeks ago. Uh, we always say when, when you hear, well, thunder roars go indoors because the mistake a lot of people make is, is they wait for it to start raining. Yeah. But lightning can hit where it's not raining. And the bottom line, if you can hear the thunder, the storm is close enough to hit you. And on average, about 50 people nationwide die from lightning strikes. And if you even it see it way off in the horizon, it's yeah, well, close it, enough. Close enough, but the thunder's the key. The thunder is the key. Sometimes you'll see it's way off in the distance, but as it gets closer and closer, that's when you begin to hear the sound, and that's when you need to take action. All right. Thanks a lot, okay. Wayne.